Remay, one thing I like to do every year is not that. I like to format my PC, put a fresh copy of Windows 10 on. I usually do it around April when Autodesk release their new software portfolio. Uh, I, just, I just like it. It's like new phone day. It's like new car day. Everything's clean. Everything's new, fresh, snappy, if you will. Because all of the clutter that you've had on your PC is all gone. Fresh copy of Windows 10. Everything's super snappy and clean. There's no processes running in the background. It's awesome. So unfortunately, though, I've just had to do this unprompted. Ah, Adobe and Nvidia, Premiere Pro's had issues over the last couple of weeks. It wouldn't render videos out, possible driver issue. But before I figured that out, I've spent days fighting with Premiere Pro. I've like lost so many hours of my life that you wouldn't believe trying to get videos rendered on the channel. But as part of my troubleshooting, I formatted my PC, put Windows 10 back on, and I thought to myself, well, I now have my Invmark benchmark suite for Autodesk Inventor 3D CAD. As I'm rebuilding my PC and putting it back together, I'm going to run a test. Let's see what the score is with Autodesk Inventor with no local antivirus installed on the system. And then obviously let's see what happens after I've installed local antivirus. So the local antivirus is going to be Bitdefender. That's what I use. That's what I'm licensed to use. Uh, and local antivirus isn't just open and saving and scanning files anymore. You know, back in the olden days, that's kind of all antivirus was. It's not that anymore. You know, there's so much more to local antivirus. So it's more of a security solution. You've got algorithms, scanning, application behaviors. You've got webcam protection, microphone protection, identity protection, ransomware remediation. You've got local folder control and password managers and so many other things working in the background of these uh, these applications. Now, of course, you can put in exclusions. A lot of people I probably imagine don't put in the exclusions and just install their antivirus and expect it to just kind of these days to be intelligent enough to not store their applications down to any meaningful extent. But we shall see. So the system that this is all going to be running on is fairly capable. It's the Intel i9-10900K, 10 cores, 20 threads. It's 32 gigs, of course, at Dominate Platinum RAM. We've got uh, an NVIDIA GeForce 2080 Ti graphics card with the Samsung 970 Pro NVMe solid state drive. So those are the specs. Let's see what happens with Invmark on Autodesk Inventor, both with and without local antivirus. Remake, you're looking at Invmark on screen right now. This is not exactly new to the channel. <laughs> I've showed it before, but if you've not seen it before, Invmark is, uh, it's my own designed benchmarking test for Autodesk's flagship MCAD uh, application, Autodesk Inventor, uh, designed by me, developed by Kara Group. Invmark comprises of roughly 12 or 13 different tests, ranging from part modeling tests, drawing tests, large assembly build tests, patterning, gray, gray, gray tracing, ray tracing, graphics tests, and tons and tons of different tests. It's finished in a sense that the tests are finished, so I, I can use Infmark to actually bench workstations on it now, but the, the end product in terms of the website and the leaderboard, uh, that's not finished yet, and also the application's interface inside Inventor is still unfinished as well. So there's still a bit of work to do, but I can still use it in a uh, context of videos like this. Okay. For this video, mate, what I'm going to do is run Invmark on a five test loop, which means, yeah, sure, you can just click run Invmark and get, you know, just one test run and you'll get a score at the end of it. Or you can run it multiple times. And then what it'll do is if you score, say and run, if you run it 10 times and it's saying run four, the drawing test ran quicker. Well, then come the end of the 10 runs, Invmark will use the time from the run four to make up your final score. So that's kind of how this works. So the more runs you do, the better chance you've got of getting a slightly faster score. Okay, here we go. With no Bitdefender installed on a 5x run of Invmark on my 10900K build, we scored 40,781 points on Invmark with a multi-threaded score of 8,671 and a single-threaded score of 11,620. So those are the times to beat. Uh, we're going to grab the Bitdefender icon here and then we're going to give that a run. And we're going to install Bitdefender. I'm not going to sit and show you the installation of <laughs> Bitdefender. It's dull as I mean, to be honest, I actually hate Bitdefender. I really do. It's an absolute, I hate them as a company. But anyway, we'll get Bitdefender installed and then we'll come back to this. All right then, Bitdefender is now installed, left completely default. It's even installed its own VPN client that I didn't ask for. Thanks, Bitdefender. Appreciate it. Uh, the only thing I've done, <laughs> because I, I, I can't abide it, I, I can't even abide having the setting on, is I've turned off their inappropriately annoying special offers, which is like a little notification that pops up in Windows saying, hey, buy stuff off us. So that's Bitdefender on. Like I say, completely stock, no exclusions whatsoever installed into Bitdefender. 
I'm now going to fire up Inventor and then run Invermark. Unfortunately, I can't run, for reasons that I would hope are quite apparent, I can't run the screen recording software whilst Invermark's running because that would be an enormous performance hit, which would <laughs> which would impact the results. So I need to shut down the screen recording software and then I'm going to put it on a five pass loop and we'll see what the score is, mate, when Bitdefender is getting in the way. But what I can do though is I can actually start up it and see yeah that's already slow this verifying data set integrity usually <laughs> runs a lot faster than that so bit defenders already interfering so this is going to be quite interesting to see how this pans out so right okay i'm going to set it off on a on a multi-test loop and we'll see how this goes all right the scores are in the bit defended test has been done scores been calculated just as a recap the unbit defended test was 4781 multi-threaded score of 8671 single threaded 11620 how do you think it did how far off that do you think this was must admit my first impression was i thought it would be lower but kind of so close where it would be kind of borderline margin of error mate we've went from 4781 out of 35749 as a final test score that is a huge drop that is a huge significant drop i was i genuinely staggered i did not expect to see that when that came through 35749 has taken what was a fresh build of a flagship desktop i9 cpu to the performance levels of a laptop a pretty good laptop don't get me wrong this is still an extraordinarily good score but this is the score that i got from a laptop so what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload this score to the leaderboard. And I want to show you how what that score means in context to um, to two other systems that have uploaded to the leaderboard. So the leaderboard that you're about to see is it's alpha. It's like it's our raw, it's our raw database. It's not it's not going to look like this. This is sort of the back end. Yeah, right. So 35, 7, 4, 9. Wow, it's so far down. That one there. So it's all the way down here. So it's so 35. We've got a 35, 7, 7, 3. That was, so that's an Alienware laptop, uh, Unit 3255. So this is a Coffee Lake Generation Xeon, I believe, 2278G. Wow, that has taken us back so far. So in terms of the actual time for the runs, so say, for example, the modeling test. So this column here is the, well, these first set of columns, how long each test took. So like time to run the FEA, time to make the draw. So it's the actual time produce each test uh time to make a lot of time to make a drawn so went from 87 seconds down to there's not an easy way of doing this <laughs> it's just it is the back end of the leaderboard down here 37 seconds down to uh 102 87 seconds to 102 seconds wow that is massive 87 seconds for the drawing test to 102 seconds just from having antivirus installed so yeah, I'm not going to go through every single element. I think you can quite clearly see there. Yeah, that me, that's mental. I, I don't understand really how antivirus works in, in in the ways that it sort of interjects into the, the running of a program, especially when it's not, you know, when with, with the large assembly drawing test, we're not opening files there really. You know, we create a drawn views and then we compute views. So that must be the... Bitdefender local security algorithms, sort of looking at application pa like behavioral patterns and scanning for using routines and signatures to look for dodgy behaviors as the drawn test being com uh, computed. The time of 100 and something seconds for that drawing test, we don't even include the time it takes to load the drawing in that test time. So that 102 seconds is exclusively the placing of the views and then the calculating of the views so the antivirus software has actually added a massive amount of, i mean i haven't i can't work out the percentage but it's a significant percentage on just that operation don't get like i say this not don't get me wrong it's still, it's still an extraordinary score i wouldn't be happy with that though i I'd, I'd be absolutely looking to go into bitdefender and start excluding the autodesk inventor process from bitdefender the, the folders that the autodesk software operates in uh, and any add-ins that you've got, just exclude those from any of Bitdefender's routines because that is not an insignificant uh, time, an addition of time that's been put on your workflows there. And I would do that for all 
applications, any professional applications that you've, that you've got. This is just demonstrating on Autodesk Inventor, but AutoCAD, you know, Inventor, Revit, Max, whatever program you use, if you've got local security, make sure you go in and then you, you make those exclusions. You know, it's no point in me demonstrating it because not everyone uses Bitdefender, you know, whatever, whichever program you've got, put those exclusions in. So this, this one here, this line here, 35701 that's the dell precision 7550 that i recently reviewed on the channel uh, i'll link the video up here we're, we're kind of 40 points out of 35,000 away from this mobile workstation here which is it's a pretty good mobile workstation but i mean mate it, this is the pc that's just run the test liquid cooled 10900k you know it's got a nzxt x72 cracking on there with with 240 millimeter fans on the radiator uh it's it's not that's a, an awesome pc and uh yeah it's the performance levels have just dropped down to a laptop uh, and this one here which is like i said these xeons are pretty good but they're not you know this, this 10900k should not be locking horns with uh, with that xeon so there you go that's pretty conclusive <laughs> i'm stacking at that i feel like i should be i want to do the same thing with like rgb software because you can saw that my lights are still rainbow puke colored because i haven't installed like corsair iq and you know nzxt cam i haven't put those on yet i don't think the performance hit for those is going to be measurable though and not in the way that bit defender is there you go cautionary tale bit uh, antivirus not just bit defender this is not me picking on bit defender although bit defender probably is quite aggressive with this stuff but just caution retail, if you do have local security, make sure you go in there and then add exclusions, not just to virus scanning, but also algorithms and any kind of ransomware stuff. Exclude the folders and the processes of the programs that you use from being scanned on a regular basis, not just file open and file save uh, routines. And All right, thanks very much. I'm going to knock that on the head there. That's all I've got. If you found that useful, do click like. If uh, you want to check out other videos like this and the laptops and some of the other workstations that are in that list, go check out the back catalog. I'm sort of slowly building this up. That's all I've got. My name's Neil. Gotta go. You stay pro. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.